Hello, today let's use Oh My Post to show Git branch names on our Windows PowerShell terminal. To do this, let me search for Oh My Post on Google. We can use Oh My Post to edit the look and feel of our Windows PowerShell terminal. We can use this to customize the terminal for Windows, Mac and Linux. Today, let's see how we can do it for Windows. So I will go to the Windows page now. Let's download it and install it. Once it is installed, it shows the next steps here. It asks us to install a font and then to configure it and then to use themes for all my push. Before I install a font, I'm going to go to the Microsoft Store and install the Windows Terminal. We can use and configure the Windows PowerShell in a much more efficient manner in the Windows Terminal. So I prefer using that. I have the Windows Terminal open now. So let's try to install the fonts. These are called the Nerd Fonts. Quite an interesting name. It says here that we need admin permissions to install this font. So I will now reopen the terminal as an administrator. I will copy this command and paste it on my terminal and press enter. You can choose your preferred font. I will cho choose Terminus. Once it is in successfully installed, let's try to configure it. Here it ask, asks us to edit some files. But let me show you an easy way, easier way to do this. If we click on this small drop down icon, we can go to settings. Once I am in the settings, I will go to the default section, then to appearance. Here I can choose my font. I will select the Terminus Nerd font and sa save my changes. I will close the terminal and re re reopen it as a non-administrator. As a next step, we are going to configure all my posh. I know I am using PowerShell, but let me confirm that with this command. After that, let me try this command. It gives me an error. So let me use this command to create a profile. Let me is no more an error. I'll copy this command onto my profile and save it. As it says here, Windows blocks calling all my posh. I can run this command to eliminate the error. For this, I will have to log in as an administrator again. Now it worked. We can see a basic oh my posh appearing on our terminal, Ig ignore any errors that may appear. Now if we go to the customization section, we can see how it is possible to customize oh my posh with different themes. First, I will go to the themes section and select the theme that I want to use. There are so many of them. 
I'll choose this one and open it in a new tab and save it and save this file in a convenient location. Now I will go to the cu customization section and copy this command. I will open the profile in the notepad. I will replace the existing command here with the new one and also change the location of the file name. I will save the file and close this window now. Then I will run the profile command. Let's again ignore the errors here and try to go into a git folder. You can see the folder location and also the git branch name along with it. That's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again next time.